So this is my new PC that I got. Uh, new to me, I bought it used, but slightly. The one thing I'm finding out is it is running extremely hot. Um, upwards of the 80 degrees or so while we're gaming and everybody else is running somewhere more in the 60s, 70s, so it's something kind of wrong. One thing I noticed that I don't like about the design of this case is this is the power supply. If you pull the power supply out of the way, then there is the main processor here, which the heat sink that's behind it, the silver piece back here, the heat sink is quite small and when you upgrade you generally get a big one but what happens in this case is that this power supply is in the way of that so you can't get a huge heat sink in there um, so anyway uh, what sounds like one of the best ways to do it is water cool and they make a system that water cools up into the top um, and can lay flat on that processor thanks to uh, Tung Chad uh, that I game with for helping look up some stuff. We found that apparently these from the factory come normally with really bad thermal paste that's either dried out or just not in good condition. So I thought I'd try a new thing. I ordered some thermal paste uh, from Amazon that did not come in. It got stuck in shipping somewhere. So I watched uh, actually Linus's tech tips, which I kind of like some of their stuff. They came up with this uh, thermal pad which is a new product that's supposed to work just as well as any of the good thermal paste, but it's reusable and no mess, no fuss, no nothing. So I need to get this processor fan and heat sink off, get those cleaned up with some isopropyl alcohol and try this new pad and see what we find. All I need to do is remove the fan. I will say, looking at that heat sink, it looks to me like that was a very badly done paste job. perfect size too. And that should be that. Let's cross our fingers and hope that cools it off. Best Buy was still running. So what I did do is look online at Best Buy and saw that you can do an order and it was ready in 20 minutes. Drove to Best Buy here in Fort Myers, Florida. And um, they had it really set up nice. They had a couple of 10 by 10 tents out front. All the employees were wearing Best Buy labeled masks and everything. Um, and made it really easy. I showed them my ID and they brought the product out to me and it was done in, I don't know, four minutes or something. Uh, so anyway, it was a very pleasant experience. Thanks Best Buy for doing that. Um, they seem to be running a good business right now, which would be hard to do with most places shut down. So anyway, I appreciate them for that. Uh, but now I've got my water cooler, so pick that up. It was the same price as it was on Amazon and I could pick it up in 20 minutes. So. That was a killer thing. So let's install the Corsair water cooler. Pull the power supply out of the way. First things first, let's get this fan out of the way. Only one screw, because the other one seems to be missing. That's easy. 
noticing that that's plugged into what's called top fan on the labeled on the motherboard. I don't know if you guys can see that. With that fan out of the way, so there's a big cavity here for the cooling that's just already built in. Now, the idea is that that cavity is what fits the water cooling setup. It should be basically an all-in-one setup that's already pre-built for you. And the cooler, basically the radiator, the There's my new thermal blanket. I've been looking into a PDF of the manual for this. And the easiest way is I to just took a screw out of here and this entire top plate is now going to come out. That'll make it easier for me to mount the fan and everything inside of here. Plus I can get at these screws. So I'm going to get the radiator up in there and screw that in. Okay. I took the that case this piece out of the case, which is this top cooler here. I took it out because what I did find out is the radiator screws do not match the screw holes that this has. Simple answer to that. Pull the radiator up, swap it around the other way where the hoses are to the front of the case, and now the bolt holes line up. Oh. Radiator out. So what they're saying is fan first. So now the fan's on top, radiator's on the bottom. Seems to fit okay. It doesn't seem to be pinching anything. But what we did find, since this computer is made to be water cooled, this should run a whole lot better. All right, now the question is how to make all this fit. Let's see if I can get this back in. So now, got the whole water cooler set up, built in up there. Hopefully that'll be the best way to do it. Main things are these pins down here. So we'll have, this is top fan. I guess I could go ahead and plug that in. Now the question mark is gonna be making these hoses fit while this top power supply can fold back down on top of them. Luckily, this case is pretty simple because this is supposed to go behind the motherboard. Who what a pain, then you gotta take the whole motherboard out. Luckily, because this one's made to be water cooled, it already has that set up there. So now all you have to do is pick which top you want. The top depends on whether it's an Intel processor or an AMD processor. We have Intel, so I know which one to use here. That will sandwich over the cooler. I'll show you what it does. As it goes down, you can see to the mounting points that do already exist. Look like this. One, two, three and four so this pump comes stock with thermal paste on there I'm gonna get rid of that when I see this looks like it'll fit the biggest thing being right now let's see I need to take this which is the water pump so you see there it says there's pump fan so I'm going to put that on the board so now the one we're missing is CPU fan which is correct we have no CPU fan on it anymore we just have this pump configuration That should be everything. I vote we go test it. Running 
to, let's see, Specky. Specky should show me my CPU. That's what I was running before. Let's take that and run. Let's run a game that's difficult on it. All right, now we're running at half the temperatures we were before. So if you have an Alienware R9 and you don't have it water cooled, spend the 75 bucks, whatever it is. I think it ended up being 80 when I bought this Corsair cooler. Spend the money, it's worth it. It'll cool off your processor, it'll run a lot longer, and there's no noise. Time to put the PC back together and wire it up correctly and we're ready to go.